My name is Eric Bettis. Work at AutoNation Ford. Been there about seven years. Yeah, he is an outstanding, outstanding sales rep. So they uh, gave me two free fill-ups, and I'm getting my first one right now. It's going to be about $400 to fill this thing up, so it's kind of negotiating in the price. Actually, 48 gallons, I'm probably at about 45 gallons needed right now, and uh, what, two thirty a gallon? So it should work out pretty good. But just want to introduce the man. This is the guy you want to come see if you go to AutoNation. He'll definitely take great care of you like he took care of me. So hey folks, so one thing I promised I would do after buying this new truck is update my subscribers with any type of problems or issues that I'm having with the truck. The first issue kind of popped up about a week after buying the truck and it drove me nuts for several days until I figured out what it was. So that problem is actually one that once you Google, you realize a lot of people have had. The truck that I drive has a panoramic sunroof. This sunroof extends pretty much from the front seats all the way to the back seats, and it is a huge dual panel sunroof. About a week after buying the truck, I started picking up this really strange creaking little tapping noise coming from above my head right on the driver's side of where the sunroof is. And at first, it only happened when it was really hot outside, which is pretty much every day here in South Texas. So once the temperature reached 100 degrees or so, I'd drive home, drive the vehicle around, and I would just constantly hear this little creaking, tapping noise. It was just so annoying. So I, I did what anybody would do, and I went on Google, and I typed in, you know, Super Duty, 2017 Super Duty panoramic sunroof creaking. And it came back with no results for the Super Duty. And I'm thinking, well, crap, I have the only truck out of all of these that I've test driven and done reviews on, I have the only one that has this problem that's been reported on. Well, when I looked up additional topics, I found that the 2014, 15, and 16 F-150 had that problem. A lot of people were complaining that they were picking up some weird noises coming from the panoramic sunroof area, whether it was on the driver's side or the passenger side. Then I found a few YouTube videos that people had made talking about where the noise is coming from, taking it into the dealership multiple times, never getting a fix. That's the creaking I'm hearing. That is the creaking that goes away when I push on the frame. This is not normal, but to Ford and Bill Brown, this is totally normal. Well, finally, Ford had released a TSB or technical service bulletin on the sunroof to bring it in. And basically all it was, was them cleaning off the rubber seals, applying a very expensive lubricating grease to the seal. And, you know, basically saying that the reason why it was making that noise is because a rubber seal was making contact with the body of the vehicle or the opening, the cutout in the top of the truck. When the seal's dry and it makes that creaking noise, which kind of made sense. So I went and bought the grease myself and I followed the bulletin and the instructions very carefully and I did that and the problem went away for maybe 24 hours, maybe one day, and then it came back just as bad as ever. So I really wanted to figure out what the problem was and I thought about dropping the vehicle off at the dealership and letting them take a look at it, but then I had heard so many stories from people getting their entire sunroof replaced to the tracks being replaced to different components being swapped out, getting the truck back, the problem going away for a short period of time and then coming back just as bad. And in many cases, the dealership left fingerprints all over the headliner and the truck just wasn't the same when they got it back. Anyways, after doing some extensive research and really looking at all the components up there, finding out where the noise could be coming from, doing some experimentation with foam pads, different things that I had laying around, some felt tape, things like that, 
I finally figured out exactly where the noise is coming from and I wanna share that with you all because I know that there's people out there with F-150s or Super Duties that have these dual pane sunroofs maybe running into this exact issue and don't know what to do. They don't wanna leave it for days at the dealership and oftentimes the dealership will claim they've never seen it or heard of it before. So they're just gonna poke around and pull things down and not really do it as gingerly as you may want them to do it to your brand new truck. So bear with me, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what the problem is and exactly how to fix the problem. So now we've moved to the back seat of the truck, as you can see here. Here's the back of the sunroof. So one of the things that I use to facilitate this repair is this neoprene tape. It's basically neoprene rubber on one side with adhesive on the other side. And the dimensions of it are one inch by an eighth of an inch by 33 feet long. And it's just, again, a spongy rubber adhesive material that you can apply to just about anything. A lot of dealerships use this as well to sound deaden areas that might be making noise. Here's the part number. And you can find this on Amazon. It's where I found it. And then the second thing you'll need is this Crytox oil. Now this is an oil that's not supposed to break down rubber and it should be safe for use on plastics and things like that. I don't know if you absolutely need this, but I got this. Um, originally I bought this to do the technical service bolt-in because it asked for Crytox oil, but I also use this in the same area to help with the fix as well. But I don't know if you actually need this piece of it. Now, this is a very simple fix. It's only gonna take you a few minutes to do, I guess depending on how many areas are making the noise. But from the back seat, if you look right up here in the rail, you'll notice that you have these little tabs right here. You have one right there, you have another one right here, and then you have a third one on the back. And you have three on each side for a total of six. Now, if you look at it, it is a Torx type screw bit. I believe it's a T25. And what you're gonna do is simply loosen that, which would allow the sunroof to move up and down slightly. Basically, this panel right here will then be able to move up and down for small adjustments. What you'll notice is once you loosen that, it's gonna wanna come down maybe about a millimeter or two and that's gonna expose the problem. So the problem you're actually having, let me try to get a good angle, is the fact that the top of this tab right there, right there, is actually making contact with the bottom of the body panel of the truck. You can see what looks like a little bubble directly after the tab right there, and that's actually the clear coat where the clear coat kind of ran down when they spray painted the truck. Now, what's happening is the top of that tab right there is rubbing up against the bottom of that area where the clear coat is, and every time the truck goes over certain types of conditions or bumps or is just driving in general, it's causing those two parts to rub and to slightly make contact. And that could be happening anywhere up here. It could be happening on the opposite side with the tabs here. So to fix it, all you have to do is drop that down slightly, grab a piece of that neoprene tape, apply a small piece of tape to the top of that tab where it makes contact with the painted surface, and then put a little bit of oil, or I put oil at least, behind where that torque screw is and back behind that plate, tighten it down, and the sound goes away completely. It's completely gone. Now the reason why I say it may take a little longer for some folks is you might be getting that noise coming from multiple tabs. I only had it from that one right there, so it was not even a five minute fix for me. And it prevented me from having to go to the dealership to leave my truck for them to poke around, prod, try to pull everything down and fix it when it was just a quick, simple fix that I was able to do in my driveway, like I said, in less than five minutes. The thing you wanna keep in mind is I don't know how hard the material is that that torque screw is screwed into. So I was very, very observant of how much pressure it took to unscrew it, which didn't take too much. And once I did the repair to screw it back in, you do not want to over tighten that because if that torque screw is going into aluminum, then it could strip out very easily. So that's just one of those areas that you want to be careful. It may be going into steel, but I did not want to take that risk. And I was just very careful about that. But there you have it, guys. I don't have that sound at all anymore. When I pressed right here, I used to be able to replicate that creaking noise. I can't replicate it anymore. I get none of that sound while I'm driving down the road, and I wanted to wait four days after the repair to verify that the sound was gone. Right now, it's 101 degrees outside, and 
that's typically where it would be at its worst and I don't hear it at all anymore. So guys, if you have this problem with your truck, your F-150 or Super Duty, that's the fix. Very simple, very inexpensive, takes five minutes to do, maybe a little longer if you have multiple tabs making noise. You know, I know the first thing a lot of folks are going to want to do that have other brands or are anti-Ford and just completely biased to one particular brand, they're going to claim that this is just poor quality, poor manufacturing on Ford's side. But that's simply not the case. Most trucks didn't suffer from this issue. And the fact is that a lot of folks will never have this problem. Or you may have a truck from Ram or GM or Toyota or even Lexus that has creaking panels and a few little issues like this. Really easy problems to fix, but you do have to do some probing, some searching around. I remember that my dad's truck was a Ram and he had problems with the buttons on the steering wheel rattling really bad when you go over bumps and he was able to fix that problem himself but again these are things that you can probably do yourself and it doesn't really represent the quality of the vehicle anyways guys if you like the video I'd appreciate a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel thanks everyone